Hello, BioInfoTips community. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today, we're diving into the world of KEGG, the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes Pathway Database. KEGG is a crucial tool for anyone in bioinformatics, helping researchers understand high-level functions and utilities of the biological system. So, let's get started. First, let's navigate to the KEGG website. Open your browser and type in www.keg.jp. You'll land on the KEGG homepage, which is your gateway to a plethora of biological information. KEGG provides several databases, but today we'll focus on the Pathway database. Click on the Pathway link under the KEGBGP, a THWAY section. Here, you'll see a list of pathway maps organized by categories like metabolism, genetic information processing, environmental information processing, and more. Let's explore one of these pathways. For this tutorial, we'll look at the glycolysis slash gluconeogenesis pathway. Click on glycolysis slash gluconeogenesis this brings up a detailed pathway map. Each box represents an enzyme, and arrows indicate the chemical reactions between substrates and products. KEGG integrates genomic, chemical, and systemic functional information to give a comprehensive view. Let's zoom in on an enzyme. Click on the enzyme box for hexokinases. This will take you to a new page with detailed information about the enzyme including its role in the pathway, associated genes, and links to other databases for further research. Notice the links to various databases like NCBI Uniprot and PDB. These links provide access to a wealth of additional data, including protein sequences, structures, and literature references. This integration makes KEGG an invaluable resource for bioinformatics research. That's a quick overview of how to use the KEGG Pathway Database. Remember, KEGG is not just for viewing pathways. It's a powerful tool for integrating and analyzing data. You can also use tools like KEGG Mapper to map your own data onto these pathways, but we'll save that for another tutorial. In our next video, we'll explore how to use KEGG Mapper for your data analysis. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues. Comment below if you have any questions or if there's another bioinformatics tool you'd like us to cover. Until next time, keep exploring the world of bioinformatics with BioInfoTips.